Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we have been trying to do the Only Pike tournament recently. Thought we'd continue on, guys. We are going to be going to Moose Lake. This is the place where I caught the biggest pike the first time. This is what required me to get that great big auger. Because the first time I caught one, he snapped a line. <laughs> so, been a little bitter over that ever since. But we are down some people. Looks like some of them got disqualified in the last leg of this. And we are going to be here in the evening in the winter. It's 45 minutes long. It's a little long. I will try to cut out any slow periods that are present, guys. I, you know, a lot of times you're just sitting there bobbing up your, your, your lure. So I will try to cut those out so that you don't have to deal with that. Let's see. Now, in this particular lake, the biggest fish that you can get are the pike whitefish and sturgeon. So there's some good sized fish in here. So if you ever want to come in here and try, it looks like the sturgeon is the biggest fish I've caught out of this. Uh, it's very deep. It's a not a big it's not a big lake, but it's a very deep lake. So there are some good spots to fish for these. Pike come good size here, not as big as some other locations, but they do come pretty big. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure first, before we go into this, we need to get some gear that we are missing. I'm not sure how much money I have left. I don't have a lot. Yep. Uh, let's see, that's not good. But we need attractant. And I'm trying to remember which one was the best attractant for... Yeah, I think we have enough for one. <laughs> that's all we got. Well, let me check and see, and I'll let you know when I get back here. Alright, guys. It is grayscale. If you take a look at this, it says brook trout, pike, big head carp. There isn't one that's just specific for pike. So we're going to use that. I only have enough cash to get that one. I am seriously low on cash. I need to win this tournament to get myself back in the game here again. I kind of spent it all. So... Anyway, we're going to make sure that we're going to use the same jig we did last time. Everything pretty much the same. And let's jump on in. Alright, I am going to head for deep water. Remember, one pike per hole. One pike per hole. So right here is a good spot in my opinion. Okie dokie. Let's use our grayscale and drop her in. It's not seriously, seriously cold. It's one degree Fahrenheit. Surprised we have ice. So we shouldn't get as much freeze up. That's actually very good. Might not get any. There's a. Th it is freezing up a little bit. Surprise! There we go. And there's our pike. Two point nine three pounds. All right. Let's. Pull stakes and move on to the next place. There's not a lot of them though. Just gonna move a little bit. Yeah, this is a lot deeper. A lot deeper. It's almost the full depth. I need a backup lure or attractant to use besides these grayscale. 
Uh, I'm running out of them fast. So what I need to do is I need to go in and do some free fishing off screen, get a little bit of cash so I can buy some more grayscale. I didn't think to do that. So I don't have to complete the mission or the tournament before I can get that. <clears throat> Here's our pike. I do that out of habit every time. I don't know why. I'm just going to be leaving here. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm going to clean up after myself. <laughs> Let's go into the center here. All right, drop some attractant. Drop it in. Okay, fish. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a good bite. That was an excellent bite. Now, hopefully, it's a pike. <laughs> Yes! 9.13 pounds. 9.13 pounds. Close. Seriously close. Seriously. I did it again. <laughs> seriously, seriously close. We're going to move a little bit. And drill them deep again. So they are deep, guys. They are deep. Deep, deep, deep. In the evening, in the winter. evening and in the winter they are very deep. It's a great sign. Well, I'm not sure what our total weight is yet, but that is... We're at least up there. And that was a good bike too, guys. Not quite as good as the last one, I don't think. Well, I don't know. We're struggling a little bit to get him in. Ah, shoot. Wrong kind of fish. <laughs> nice one, though. Four pounder. But, that means we can stay here until we do get the pike. Yeah, there's a very subtle difference between when you've got a decent fish to where you've got a big fish. Now, this is not a big fish. When I've got really big fish, that rod just bobs all over the daggone place like it's going to snap right off. And it takes you forever. Gosh, it looks like we're going to get a lot of white fish here. Well... You'd think where there are whitefish, there have to be predators. Something's eating them. And as big as these guys are, it's going to need to be a good size. Or either that or they're safe. Now, if this turns out to be another whitefish, I'm going to raise it up just a little. Oh, there's a bike. He isn't that big, though. Dang it. Alright, we're going to keep going. I think some of the other guys are on to me. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute, he's catching fish. Dang it. Let's 
Let's go where he is. decent bite too. Eh, eh, eh. 3.11 pounds. Not huge. I will tell you this, we are using the Green Goblin too. There is another one that might work. Dang on it might work better for us. Let's come over here. Let's tick these people off here. Fish right in between ours. Okay, let me see here. Let me check my lures. And I think, is it the tiger? No. It's not the salmon snake. Tiger shark? Yeah, that's it. Let's try the tiger shark. Monster Pike. Let's break the bro Ooh. Love to break the 10 pound record for the biggest fish, too. Don't know what that's going to do it here, but. Nope. Yeah, we're catching them. Seems like around 3 or 4 pounds. Two well, two and a half to three, four pounds, whatever. We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. Okay, well, let's go. Now, we can catch them in the shallow water like these knuckleheads are, but I'm going to show you something. We got a little bit of We've got time. More than most likely, they're going to be smaller. More than most likely, they will be smaller. I'm not even going to waste my attractant. Watch them prove me wrong. Usually, though, I catch bigger ones in the deep water. See? 1.58. I'm getting them. I've got them pretty quick. Now, that could be a good technique. I mean, catching a whole bunch of small ones to add to your weight, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to go over here to this little lake here. I haven't, I don't think I've seen anybody go over here. No, there, well, yeah, there's a few holes, but they're, they're not in the deep part of this now let me make sure I'm in the deep part. Yes, I am. Nobody thought to dig to drill here. I always have this vision of this one pike somewhere in a hole <laughs> swimming around like some kind of a tank or submarine 
ready to pounce. And I want to find him. <laughs> That's very interesting, guys. Nothing. I mean, I can't waste my time on that. Nothing bit on that. Now, sometimes they can be at the headways of waters. Waterways might be worth a check, too. I am going to try this deep spot here just for a minute. out of grayscale. Now if I don't catch any here, it's going to be a big surprise. Usually you can find pike anywhere. Even the small ones. Okay, there's something here, but it's not big. Yeah, see there's a pike, but he's a teeny little fella. He's teeny, teeny, tiny. Alright, fellas, I am out of here. I am not pleased with the way this area is producing pike. So I'm going to head right over here. At this little bend. In the waterway. You can have your little fun right there if you want to. I'm... Okay, that was a little fast. Not very big. And he isn't very big either. Damn. Yeah, I think we're just going to stick in the deep areas, guys. Just keep at it. circled around Moose Lake quite a bit, but I'm getting a lot of small fellas. Ooh. Okay. That was a really good bite. I'm just hoping it is a pike. Wow, it's big. Oh, gosh. Damn. I keep getting so close to my record. Uh, damn it. All right, we're going to try it again. Five. 
five three. It's like it's always just a little bit shy of ten pounds. There's the last of our tract and dang got it. Eh, he's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go out to an area where I don't see any holes. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to come up with some kind of other attractant. Well, trout jam? No. Maybe it's the brown does. Sharky? No. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that's good for this. Well, we've got more of the magic blue. Let's just see. All right. Whoa! That was a good bite. Let's see what this one is. Eh. in that average range. Yep, there we go guys. A JD, if you're watching this, the dogs are doing it again. <laughs> Every time I try to do this. Let's wrestle. <laughs> get here, if anything. Whoa! Ah, shoot, I think I was too late. I was seeing what the dogs were doing, and Roscoe, you've got to stop doing that. Dang damn it. God, that was a big bite, and I missed it. That was a big bite, too. What is going on? Why did it do that and there was nothing there? Did I just find a glitch? That happened another time where I was getting... what appeared to be bites. And it turned out there were nothing at all. And if I remember correctly when it happened, nothing would bite following that. I think we're going to have to move. Yep, I think I found that same glitch. Dag Nab it. All right, let's go over here. No, deep, 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 deep. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like once that glitch happened, I cannot get anything to bite. It's like a fake bite. It's really weird. I've seen it before. Let's see here. Alright, let's go on a different scale here. Let's go right over here. It's not nearly as deep here, but nobody's drilling either. Did you see that bite? Nah, it's more like it. That's more like it. Okay, let's try here. This is a little bit deeper. Not much, but a little bit. Dang, gone. Come on, ten pounds. 6.5. Mm. Still, very decent fish. It's like we cannot break that 10 pound mark. Okay, I'm going to try right here. the attract see see it did it again now I bet you anything I won't get a bite no matter what I do except to now I've been getting bites almost immediately but when it does that Is it? Yeah, they're not biting now. That is so weird. That means I need to move and move quite a ways away. Now, uh, to be perfectly honest, I feel very confident about this so far. Very confident. Maybe there's a fox. Extremely warm. <laughs> Nine degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. You saw it. You saw it. There's nothing there. Not even a point to try. Alright, let's go far enough away here. 
You know, there for a while I was wondering if maybe that was an indication that the... You kind of like caught all the fish <laughs> that could be caught? I don't know. I don't think so, though. But I do know when that happens, you're done. You can't... You can't get anything to, to bite after that. It seems like it happens almost... See? <sighs> Does not make any sense. I hate this glitch. But it's very obvious. It's like there's a fish and it just No, see nothing's gonna bite now. Well let's try something here. Let's pull this down. Pull it up. Let's try changing the lure back to the Green Goblin. Yeah, that's right. Could it be a lure thing? Or a mechanics thing? And see, this is a real popular one with the whitefish, so... But nothing is biting on it. That's infuriating. Yeah, guys, if anybody has run into this glitch, let me know. Is it just me? Am I doing something that I don't know about? I know you guys saw it go down like something bit on it. Okay. So that time I let it kind of nibble a little bit, so maybe I've broken the cycle. I don't know. At least I got a fish. doesn't seem to have anything to do with the lures. <coughs> yep. That's it. Son of a gun. We're done now. Yeah, guys, please let me know if you've seen this. I'll keep trying, but I'm not going to keep wasting you guys, you guys' time. <laughs> That's all there is. Okay, got 
shot something that time. Yep, it's whitefish. down a little bit longer. Seemed to work a little better. There we go. Now we got us a pike. See, I don't think it was... Maybe I did it too soon? I don't think so, though. I've done, it, I've done this enough times to know how fast you have to, to grab that. Getting close to the end of this competition. See? And I gave it time that time. Didn't say I was too slow, didn't have any problems. She's definitely trying. <laughs> Alright, we're just kind of wasting time now. I think we've got this, guys. Regardless of the glitch issue, I think we got it. I'm going to try to react real slowly if it does it again. Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm doing it just too soon, but all I know is when it... I've never had that problem before until just past few episodes. See, I need a big deep spot. This looks good right here. There's a lot of holes. <laughs> a lot of holes. Again, I'm going to try my darndest not to hit the F key. Nope. Didn't work. Oh, God. i tell you what. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go back to the starting gate. I feel confident about this anyway. I think I've got it. And I'm not going to fight with that glitch anymore. It's frustrating the hell out of me. I think it's right here, isn't it? It's either here or over here. I'm, I'm just going to stand here until the little circle pops up. I don't remember. 
I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. It's howdy duty time. I don't know if this guy's gonna come or not. He's been... Oh, two of them, actually. Well, we're talking about pushing it to the last minute. Whew. Let's see what we did. Yep. Oh, yeah. I was way ahead of him. Well, despite that glitch, I don't know what is up with that. Guys, I really do not know what's going on with that. But we may, you know, we managed to do it again. We have one more competition. There is no way they can touch me. I pretty much won this. I mean, let's let's just let's just say that. But anyway, we're going to be going to the fishing islands next. Morning in the fall, another 45-minute session, which I think is a little long in my opinion. But this is again the total weight of pike, not perch. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And that will be the finale for this only pie competition. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.